Heath Kid, IG-18 Update. Oh, good evening, YouTube. Here with you on this uh, Monday evening. I think it's Monday. <laughs> Sometimes I don't really know, but for sure I think it is Monday. Been working on this... Um, that's my pillow alarm just went off. Uh, been working on this uh, power... or not power supply, but uh, main board for the... Uh, uh, audio generator heat kit. I have the have those all removed. Removed all the uh, resistors first. I probably will just te test these diodes. Leave those on. I don't think I'm going to mess with the uh, is that mica silver mica whatever it is. <coughs> and I don't think I'll mess with this one. The lamp tests good probably no sense in, in messing with that and also this uh, here probably no sense in messing with that uh, so probably this board is cleaned off as good as it's going to get uh, unless somebody has a uh, something to say about it <laughs> um, what I found was let me look at this pile over here these here are all the, the resistors that are out of tolerance there's, I think, three over there on that, in that pile. That's a good pile. That's uh, in, in good in intolerance. All the all the transistors checked. Well, I I say all the transistors check good. They all checked as transistors. There's none shorted or, or uh, checking as diodes or anything like that. So those are all probably good. I think that uh, I might have to change that. I'm gonna check that tolerance on this one again. It's a one watt. Um, Anyway, uh, the transistor, this is a power supply transistor. It checked good. Of course, these are the uh, filter capacitors on the uh, main board. I'll do, I will replace those. Um, here is the uh, power supply board. Got all the uh, components off of it. These three here and this one here. All electrolytic capacitors will be changed. There was two resistors on there, both out of tolerance. A good bit, if, uh, as I recall. So, and the, these two power supply diodes have been checked. Now this Zener diode, really no way of checking that. Basically, I'm going to have to put it all back together and make sure it's putting out the right voltage and go from there. So that's how we'll check that. But uh, everything else is, uh, you know, pretty good. This board's been pretty much cleaned off. It's ready to be put back into action once I get uh, parts I need. So... That's that. Now this board here, the uh, main power supply board, has not been um, uh, cleaned off. It's been, like I said, all this stuff that's on here is going to stay. I may try to, to uh, you can see this uh, uh, lamp connection here is, is, is sketchy. Uh, that's not, not a, a hack job. That's probably how it was put in because that's the way it comes, I think, with these two wires like that. And you, you post the solder to the uh, rails there or whatever. I think that's that's normal. But uh, it does it is connected. I've checked the uh, continuity. So it is good. So uh, I've got two little diodes there. I kind of missed those a while ago, but I think they're good. I'll check them with the, the diode checker and make sure, but uh, pretty sure they're good. And again, like I said, I'll have to check these. Uh, that's going to do that. Now on to the controls. Let's see if I can get this out without messing everything up. These uh, capacitors all checked good. Checked uh, leakage on them. They they are in, they're in fine shape for this. This one took a while to charge up because it's a five microfarad. But it, after it charged up, it checked fine for leakage, no, no problem. They're only 25 volt capacitors, so they shouldn't, shouldn't be bad. Uh, all those checked within tolerance. The, the measurements, I measured them on two different instruments, the component tester and my uh, meter K uh, DMM. Both put it in within tolerance, the 2% that it need to be. And so those are good. Now on these precision resistors, these have all been checked and are all in spec, well within their 1% tolerances, each one of them. 
some of them were right on the money. I just tested these with the Fluke uh, Benz DMM, and uh, they're they're pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it. I have not done anything with this pot, this double pot here, and that's as far as I've gone right now uh, with everything. So I still have some things in the in the box there to check. Um, so those will be checked. And like I said, all the switches and everything will be cleaned and stuff like that before it's put back together. So, just kind of wanted to update you. I haven't uh, haven't done been working on this a long, long time, but it was long enough. Bob had been helping me, but he's he's already gone to bed. He's a early to bed, early to rise type guy. And uh, so that's about it on that. Let me turn everything out here before I forget everything. Yeah, I missed my sponge. Ah, uh, there we go. Anywho, that's uh, where we're standing at on the uh, audio generator, the uh, IG-18. And uh, I, as soon as I have money available, funds available, I should say, I will order the uh, capacitors. I found uh, the ones I need on eBay, and they're not really very expensive. Of course, they're coming from China, so it may take a while, but I'm in no hurry for this. Uh, there's my uh, meter. I have the meter wrapped up in a paper towel with a tape on it to keep it off out of harm's way. And like I said, everything else is ready to go. I'm going to try it. Like I said, reuse everything that I can reuse. Here's the, I don't know if you saw, saw all these. Uh, but there's one, two, three small uh, resistors there. I think this one here, this large one, might be out of spec. But whether it is or not, I'll have to, have to figure it out. I, my brain got to hurt in there. And Bob was having to figure tolerance levels and things like that for me. They run interference, as it were. So, I appreciate that. And I was happy to see that all the transistors checked, like I said, as transistors. They're not shorted or anything like that. So that's really all the testing you can do on those, or that I can do, we'll put it that way. Uh, same with this one, test it as a transistor. And that's a unit, I did not realize that was a unit. I was trying to get the transistor out separate for the longest time. Finally I said, well I'm going to take the heat sink out too, just to see what happens. And as soon as I took that out, the transistor came out with it. So <laughs> A little bit different, but that's okay. Like I said, there's quite a few... Uh, I have most of these in stock to uh, replace them, and there's a few, uh, I think, 1100 to uh, home um, values that uh, I didn't have that Bob says he has. And I have a, a pile of, or uh, I ordered that uh, 110K uh, resistor uh, bunch there uh, from China. That's coming in, and there's like several, I think at least five of them are 10K, I'm thinking. So that's one of the reasons I got those, because they 10K, 1K, 100, 100, 1 meg, all those are kind of common values that you'll find, you know, used over and over in, in circuits. And uh, that's one of the reasons I wanted several of them. So, Alright, that's going to do me. That's pretty much caught you up as far as I'm caught up. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. It's 10, 10 after 10 right now here at uh, beautiful downtown Seymour. It's been a crappy day today. It's rainy, uh, gloomy wasn't really too cold. I think it was in the, uh, the very low 40s, but still it was just, you know, a miserable day. And uh, so that's pretty much all I can say about that. Not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't think I have to do anything with Kylie. Um, maybe until Wednesday. So that'll be all right. Uh, I was telling my daughter that uh, it ain't that I don't, don't like Kylie or love her, you know, to death, but uh, I just, once in a while, it's good to have a break. And uh, so that's what I'm doing, having a break. You guys, like I said, before I keep blabbering, 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 have a great day, great evening, whatever this is. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.